Hi everyone, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to add borders to Google Docs, including custom borders that you can either design yourself or upload from a template. Okay, so here we are in Google Docs, and of course there's the age-old method of going up here to insert and adding a one-by-one -one table. So go to table, and then choose one-by-one, -one, and then you can go into the table properties, and you can start to adjust this table uh, so that it goes the entire page. So we can go up here and we can stretch this table out, and then we can customize all of the padding and everything over here to get it perfect. And uh, you know we can add a little bit of cell padding so that our text is further in. That's the old school way to do it. It's kind of quick and dirty, and honestly, it actually takes longer for me sometimes to do it that way because I have to adjust so many different things. So let's talk about adding a custom border. So we can actually do that with an image, and we can put it behind our text so that we can type over it, and you can even add a custom border after you already have text. And I'm going to show you how to do that with another document that I have open here. So to get started, uh, what we need to do is we need to go to insert, and we need to insert an image, and we're going to upload it from our computer. But first you need to find a border, right? So one of the best places to do that is at canva.com. So if you go to this URL right here, canva.com forward slash page dash borders forward slash templates, they have a whole bunch of page border templates. And you could just Google search like Canva page borders and this will come up too. You don't have to type it exactly. But look at all the different options they have here. Uh, and these are free. So if you wanted to use one of these, and this is the one that I'm going to use in this tutorial, all you have to do is click on it and go to customize this template. And I want to mention that you can create your own page borders here in Canva as well. But when you get into this customized template uh, area, you're just going to go to share up here at the top right, and you're going to go to download. And you're going to download this, but you're not going to download it as a PDF. You want to download it as a JPEG. You could choose a PNG file as well, but I think JPEG is probably the best. So just choose JPEG. And we don't need to change any of the other options, so we can just click download. And you'll notice that I can now save it to my computer, but I, you can see that I already have it in there. So I'm just going to cancel this, and we're going to go back over here to our Google Doc, and we're going to insert that image. So with my cursor just at the top of the document, I'm going to go to Insert, Image, I'm going to go to Upload from Computer, and I'm going to choose the template that I downloaded from Canva. So you'll notice that it is now in my document, but there's a few things that we need to do once we have this image in our document to make sure that it works well as a border. So first of all, I'm going to scroll down a little bit. I'm going to click on the image. I'm going to go down here at the bottom. So down here, you'll notice that we have some different options. And uh, we want to make sure that when we're using a page border, we choose the behind text option. That will make sure that there isn't any overflow issues, that the text isn't moving the actual border, all of that sort of thing. So we're going to choose behind text. And instead of choosing move with text, we're going to choose fix position on page. We don't want this to move. We want to put it where we want to have it, and then we want it to stay there. So once we've made those changes, we're going to click on these three dots to open the image options, and we can just go to all image options. And we could have also clicked image options up here at the top as well, but you'll notice that when we do that over here on the right, we have a bunch of different options uh, for modifying this image. So first of all, if we go to size and position, you notice that we can change the width and the height. And we can choose whether or not we want to lock the aspect ratio, I recommend that you uncheck that because we want to expand it to the left and right a certain amount and up and down a certain amount and it might not be the exact same. So what we can do is you can either use the inches or you can use the scale. I kind of like to use the scale so we can adjust the width scale here and you'll notice that um, this margin over here is shrinking. It's getting further and further over to that side of the page. But our left side hasn't moved so how can we manage that? Well what we can do is we can go down here to the position section and we can adjust the position. You'll notice that we have some different quick layouts. If we choose the one in the middle, you'll notice that the page border is now centered. So we could go back up here and we could start adjusting our width again. And now you'll notice that it's going both left and right. Um, so we can get it exactly where we want it. And one thing that I kind of like to do is you can use the rulers up here. So you can say, okay, this one is at 6.94. So if we bring that out just a little bit more, it should be right at seven. So let's increase it just a little more. And on this side, we're at seven for that far right border. And oh, let's leave this ruler over here. Then we can take this ruler and make sure that we are also right around that same area. So we're just about there. Um, we could maybe increase it by one. And we should be right at 
that 0.5 inch mark from the edge of the page. And then of course we could also do the same with the height. So we can do this. And over here you can see that there's an option in this position section that says relative to the top left of page. So we could go ahead and we could adjust the Y value. So that would move it up on the page. So you notice that we're getting higher and higher on the page and you can see that we have about the same amount of space there. And so we could go look at the bottom and we might have to just increase the height a little bit over here in the height scale where we were doing the width scale. And if we look at the top and bottom, we're pretty close there. So we now have our page border set up and you'll notice that we can start typing inside of it. Now, you'll notice that it's not perfect, right? I have my text is a little bit out of this gray. So what we could do is we could adjust our margins a little bit. So I could just move this arrow over a little. You notice that that kind of adjusts that margin so that now the text is inside of the border. So, you know, you could play around with this a little more too. Uh, you could add a little spacing above the text and get it, you know, as perfect as you'd like it to be. I guess it kind of is like setting up the one by one table, but I like this option because you have so many more options in terms of what borders you can use. You can upload any image you want and do this. So now I've showed you how to add a border to a blank document. Let's go ahead and talk about adding it to a document where you already have text. So we kind of start the same way. I'm going to put my cursor at the top left of the text. I'm going to go over to insert and I'm going to insert the image. So I'm going to choose upload from computer. I'm going to choose the border and click open. So you'll notice that at first it's like, ooh, what's going on? Yeah, it, it moved all the text. So we need to make some changes, right? First of all, we need to go down here and we need to choose the option that says behind text. You'll notice that right away my text has now moved back up to the top. So we've made some progress. It still doesn't look perfect though. We don't want it to move with the text, right? We want fix position on page. And then we're going to go and open up all of our image options. And now we're going to start to adjust this just like we did before, making sure the aspect ratio is unlocked. So we can make it wider. And you'll notice that once it goes out beyond the text, we start to see it. But of course, we need to go down here and we need to change our quick layout to the center so that it adjusts both on the left and right. So we can bring that all the way out as far as we'd like. And then, of course, we can do the same with the height. Now we need to bring it to the top of the page by adjusting our Y value down here in position. And so you can see it's really just adjusting the size and then also adjusting the position at the same time until you get it where you like it. So obviously I could probably bring it a little closer to the bottom, but you'll notice that we've accomplished our goal of getting the text inside of the border. I could go up here to file and I could go to the page setup option here in Google Docs. And I could adjust my margins a little bit if I wanted to so you'll notice that it's really close to the left side. So what I could do is I could change this to say, you know, left 1.5 and right 1.5 and see how that looks. Hit OK. You'll notice that brings my text in uh, more towards the middle. Now my image is probably a little too big now because I did that. So I might have to shrink the image and you'll see that it goes up there. And unfortunately, one of the things that you do have to do is if you have a multi-page document, you do have to do this on each page. However, if you just select the image and copy it, so we could go to edit and copy, we should be able to go here in front of the S and go to edit and paste. You'll notice the, that the image comes in, but we do need to make our adjustments. So uh, it is set to behind text and it's set to fixed position on page but all of these size options over here need to be adjusted. So we would go to position and we would center it and then we would decrease our Y value. Um, so we could look at the previous image up here and we could see all of the different settings that we've set. So Y was set to 0.1 so we can go down here and make sure that this Y is set to 0.1 as well. Um, X at 0.15, is that the same? Yeah, that's the same. So you can see, you know, that was pretty quick. For me to get that border on that second page and you do this for a couple of pages you're gonna you're gonna start rolling notice that we might have to adjust our bottom margin a little bit uh, it didn't show up here when we had the image but uh, we see that so you know it's not perfect I think that it's better than it has been when we just had to use the one by one table uh, notice that if you click on the little blue paper icon on the top left of Google Docs you're brought to the Google Docs home and Google Docs does have templates and some of these templates do have page borders you'll notice that there's one right here um, I'm not sure how many actually have page borders. I guess that's really 
kind of the main one they use. You can see you've got the purple newsletter over here. So I think as we move forward, Google is going to get more and more templates. Their uh, way that they add them to documents is going to get better and better. So I think this is just the beginning. I don't think uh, this is as far as we're going to get in terms of creating borders in Google Docs, and hopefully it will just get easier in the future. But now we can at least add custom page borders in Google Docs and get them all aligned. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up here on YouTube. And if you want to see more technology tips and tutorials, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's all I have for you for now. This is Anson from AnsonAlex.com.